Hello everyone in class. Today we're going to discuss the Ethiopian Empire by Kevin Boyd. The origin of the Ethiopian Empire. A Christian kingdom which spread the faith via Christ military conquest and establishment of the churches and the monasteries it is the greatest threat that came from the Muslim trading states of East Africa and the southern Arabia of the migration of the Oromo people from the south. The combination of its rich Christian heritage, the cult of its emperors, and the geographical obstacles presented to invaders meant that European, the Ethiopian Empire would be one of the two African states never to be formally colonized by a European power. The first dynasty we're going to talk about is the Zagwe dynasty. This empire is considered to have begun in around 1137, although no one knows exactly when, under the Zagwe dynasty. The name of the dynasty is, is deferred from the Agwa people in northern Ethiopia and therefore refers to them. The Zagwe kings and queens ruled for about 150 years, in which time many Ethiopia's famous rock cut churches were constructed, such as the one at La Libia, which is shown in the picture on the right. During this time, they constructed well over 1,600 churches throughout Ethiopia. The Solomonic Dynasty. In 1270, the Sagwa Dynasty was overthrown by king, a king claiming to be a descendant of King Solomon and a queen of Sheba. He was therefore believed to be a member of the traditional ruling house of Ethiopia. This dynasty reigned with only a few interruptions from the 1270 until the late 20th century. It was under them that most of the Euro Ethiopia's modern history occurred. During this time, the empire conquered and incorporated virtually all people with modern Ethiopia. Religion in Ethiopia played a big part in all of the dynasties during their time. Religion in Ethiopia consists of a number of faiths, Christianity, and Islam. First, let's discuss Christianity. Christianity was introduced to Ethiopia in the 4th century, and the Ethiopian Orthodox Church called Tewado in Ethiopia is one of the oldest organized Christian bodies in the world. The church has long lived, long enjoyed a dominant role in the culture and politics of Ethiopia, having served as the official religion of the ruling elite until the demise of the monarchy in 1974 when King Solomon's dynasty came to an abrupt end. Islam's part in Ethiopia's history. During the 19th century, Muslims were subject to convert to Christianity or leave Ethiopia. Some Muslims converted, but but the ones who did not move, moved to the western parts of Gojana or Sudan where there were continued practices of Islam. Ethiopia was the only region of Africa to survive the expansion of Islam as a Christian state. Ethiopian Empire's first diplomatic contact with Europe. By the early 1400s, diplomatic representatives and pilgrims from the Christian Kingdom of Ethiopia had traveled to the At Italian Peninsula for political and religious reasons. In doing so, they inaugurated an era of Ethiopian slash European relations that unfolded for more than 200 years. Ethiopians reached multiple locals cr across Latin Europe to forge political alliances, acquire technology, and pursue religious knowledge. In conclusion, the Ethiopian Empire reigned for almost 800 years, mainly because of their belief and rise of Christianity in the region. They were surrounded by neighboring, what we know as now as Somalia, Sudan, who are Islamic neighbors, it did no time during the period of the 800s that they not have their religious beliefs 
first and foremost in regards to trades, military, any any cultural thing at all tied back to Ethiopia's empire all comes back to Christianity. And that is the main foundation of their empire and why it strived for so long at 800 years and never had their country overtaken. My last slide will be my citation slides. As you see, those are my three sources that I have to gather my information about the Ethiopian, the Ethiopian Empire. I hope you enjoyed my presentation and learned a little bit more about how Ethiopian Empire started and survived for almost 800 years. Um, thank you and have a great day.